everyone. I'm James Milan, and welcome to this episode of Talk of the Town. Um, my guest today is a familiar face to many of you, especially if you have seen any of the DEI updates that we do regularly here at ACMI in conjunction with the town. She is Jillian Harvey, uh, the director of our Department of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, DEI. And it is no surprise, since we are speaking in early January, that we are here to talk about one of the premier events of the calendar here in Arlington, uh, as far as I and I think most of the town are concerned, and that is the MLK commemoration that is coming up very shortly here on January 15th, the uh, celebration of uh, MLK's birthday. So uh, I don't think I need to say who MLK is, but I will. <laughs> Martin Luther King, of course. Um, so Jill, first of all, haven't seen you in the studio for a while, so <laughs> welcome. Thanks. It's good to be back. <laughs> yeah, really glad to have you here in person. Um, uh, I do want to, uh, you know, I already said, obviously, and you're well aware of what the significance of this date is on Arlington's calendar and on the nation's calendar, mm -hmm. of course. Um, but I want to talk very specifically about what will be happening on the 15th here on this particular commemoration. But I want to start actually by talking a little bit about how long this has been part of Arlington's uh, kind of not just calendar, but but uh, area of concern and interest. Yeah. Um, you've been doing these things for <laughs> several years now mm -hmm. in multiple contexts through the through the pandemic, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, but just give us a little bit of grounding. Yeah, so the Martin Luther King Jr. Birthday Observance um, Committee is actually its own nonprofit that exists in the town. Um, so it's a committee that was established 36 years ago. Um, not to be confused with the border committee because it's not appointed, anybody can join. Mm -hmm. um, but this year is the 36th annual celebration that the committee will be hosting. It'll be in town hall. Um, but the point of the celebration is to celebrate Dr. King's legacy and also acknowledge how we as a community can move forward and honor his legacy. So in the past, well, I'd say in the early beginning, mm -hmm. um, this program was held in different churches and it was a potluck and over time that expanded and folks, um, it grew beyond an interfaith gathering and it's been taking place in town hall. And we know during COVID, we were so happy to be able to work with you all here to make sure that we could still provide the programming, even though it was virtual and there was no engagement piece, but folks could view it. Um, so we're really excited that we're able to be back again this year um, after last year, returning after the pandemic, having it both available for viewing, but also in person, having folks back in the auditorium at Town Hall. Yeah, I mean, we say that about we say this about any number of things, but really, when it comes to this kind of celebration, to the fact that bringing people together in the same space, yeah. the energy that comes from people looking each other in the mm -hmm. eye and being able to again to recognize, oh, you know, I remember you from many occasions in the past, and we come together to celebrate this really important uh, piece of our history um, together. It just, there is a fundamentally different feeling when you are in the same space. Mm -hmm. Just like you coming <laughs> into the studio here today, you know, yeah. it's just a different kind of thing. And it really feels like this is an occasion that warrants that even more than many. Yeah, and I will say, I, this was the first event that I actually attended, one of the first and last that I attended in person mm -hmm. when I started my role here in Arlington. And I was just an attendee and it was beautiful. I showed up by myself because I didn't know anybody <laughs> and it was absolutely wonderful. So I'm really glad that I was able to join the committee and continue to help um, make sure that the event is moving forward with us, especially mm -hmm. again facing different challenges we've had, making sure that it's still available to the community. Um, and it's been great to be able to get creative too. And we stick to the usual program, but some things, folks will notice some things have changed, but that's with anything in life, change happens. Great. It. <laughs> and we will kind of go over the program and those yeah. changes um, shortly, but I did want to 
go back to something that you said before, which is this is this is the fruits of a committee, and that yes. committee has been around for the 36 <laughs> years that the event itself has been around. Mm -hmm. And it came from uh, citizen, you know, Arlington citizen energy, yep. um, and has been driven that way all the time. Uh, here at ACMI, we, we have a whole public affairs series that is devoted to volunteerism here in Arlington and to how much we all get and mm -hmm. gain from the work that people are willing to put in in their own free time. Yeah. Um, clearly that's been the case for this committee over mm -hmm. many, many years. I know from attending events of these events for more than 20 years now <laughs> um, that the composition of that committee was very stable for a long time, but uh, that those folks are all, you know, we are all. <laughs> I have to say it, me too. We're all getting older. Yeah. Uh, more distractions in some way, more calls on our energy, less energy to give, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. I'm wondering what, where, where, where do things stand with that? Because um, obviously this is important to the community. Yeah. People need to be willing, I, I would assume, to invest that kind of time and energy that we're talking about in order to make it happen. Yeah, so I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> um, so the committee certainly still has a couple of its founding members on it, but we are consistently opening the door for folks to join us. Um, we had a little membership info session in November that was virtual for folks to just tune in if they wanted to, to find out, you know, the history of the committee, what engagement looks like. Um, so yes, there's the big event in January um, on MLK Day, but throughout the year, you know, there's some stuff we would like to do, um, but we need folks around and to be able to do that. Um, because it is also its own separate committee, that means having meetings in the summer to get planning started for this program. Um, so it is a commitment, but it can be balanced, um, but we certainly would love folks, if they're interested, to join us. We want to hear what folks are looking to have in the program. Um, again, keep some of that historical structure, but we can always add things um, and just get the feedback from people as well. So anyone who's interested, <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> yeah, I really, I, 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 I want to give particular emphasis yep. to that, right? Because um, it, 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 it's too much mm -hmm. for only a few people to take on. And the only way to do that, it seems like, is to go back to the well and do what you're already familiar with. Yeah. And so there's no doubt that this will always be in the calendar, but we want it to continue to be that vibrant uh, you know, responsive uh, kind of event year to year that reflects where we are at as a community mm -hmm. year to year. And it, there's no way to do that without, as you were saying, broad participation if possible. Yeah, and it's definitely, um, it was eye-opening for me just getting involved because I, I didn't know it wasn't a town-sponsored mm. event um, because of where it takes place and the publicity around it. Um, so it took me a little bit to realize like, oh no, this is a separate group. <laughs> um, so for the folks who think, you know, the town is putting this on, yes, the town is supporting it and we're working with folks as well, but certainly it is a small group that is making sure that this happens and even the proceeds that the donations that come in, you know, making sure we're selecting students to give scholarships to different local organizations to donate to, we'd love to have community input and so if folks are joining us we can also just find out more because I always say it we don't know what we don't know so <laughs> the more perspectives that are involved um, the better it'll benefit the community yeah and that's a really good point that you make that it's the kind of the locale uh, I happened to be uh, around f at the time that it the, the last service that was held in the church mm -hmm. was held and then the first service that was held, or not service, but the first event that was held at the town hall. Uh, and we thought at the time, oh, this is great. 
uh, you know, most of the people I spoke to thought, and, and, and mm -hmm. for obvious reasons it is. It's wonderful to move into the centerpiece yeah. of the town um, and to really kind of raise the profile, also <laughs> allow for more space uh, for people <laughs> to actually, uh, who are in attendance, et cetera. And the, you know, that community and potluck feel that was lost seemed worth it to be, again, in, mm -hmm. this, in this kind of uh, town-honored space. Yep. Um, but I think something that I certainly wasn't aware of and maybe other people, the organizers hadn't really taken into account would be that, would be mm -hmm. the percep public perception that, oh, this is a town event, so therefore the town's got, yeah. got it covered and I can just turn, choose to go or not go, et cetera. <laughs> It's not going to happen. Not the case. <laughs> right? That's not going to happen if that's, if that's the attitude that people have. So um, I guess we've made that point loud and clear, <laughs> and we should move on um, to, but, but really, folks out there, if you're watching, um, join. Join the committee. See how it is. It will be, I'm sure, a rewarding, I'm sure it will be a taxing and rewarding <laughs> experience like most of the volunteer work here in Arlington is. Mm -hmm. um, all right, leaving that at bay now. <laughs> um, let's talk about the program itself. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's going to be obviously on January 15th, which yeah. is uh, the Monday that we choose to celebrate. Um, and secondly, it's going to be beginning, I know, the official program begins mm -hmm. at 6.30, yeah. but I think there's a gathering beforehand? Or? Yeah, so the doors will open at 6 to Town Hall. Um, we'll just have some tea, coffee, water for folks if they want to come early, but also if folks want to just be there to mingle. Mm -hmm. I know that was an aspect of kind of that potluck piece that folks were missing, that gathering and mingling component. Um, so that'll be happening that first half hour, but last month, December? Yeah. Um, the inspired art exhibit was placed on the second floor of um, Town Hall between the clerk's office and select board office, which is featuring um, some local artists, some black artists, and there was a great reception for that. Mm -hmm. um, that art is still actually up because we requested it. <laughs> so we definitely encourage folks, if they haven't seen it, to just take a trip upstairs, it's really look good. at the art that's up there. Yeah. Um, we'll also be having one of the quilts that was featured at that event as well with Sisters and Stitches, that is a dedication to MLK. Mm. We asked if we could borrow it <laughs> and they will be attending the event as well. So that quilt will be up as well for people to take a look at. So we're just, you know, making space for people to soak in some art, talk to their other neighbors or someone new, mm. and then we'll get the party started at 6.30 when everyone's in their seat or tuned in at home, mm -hmm. and we'll follow our usual schedule with starting with a welcome and our invocation, um, all of the same steps we do mm -hmm. every year, just different folks. We like to switch it up, invite new people in. Um, we'll have our standard free will offering in which we do ask folks to donate because we know where all of these donations are going, or we know it's going back to the community. Mm -hmm. um, this year we'll be giving, we'll, we're returning again with our Outstanding Achievement Award for a local community member. Um, and this one will be special as well this mm -hmm. year. So I'm excited for that. And we'll have some musical performances featuring the Arlington High School Honors Orchestra and the Audison Chamber Orchestra. So they'll be doing a couple of pieces that they've been working on that are um, rel that are connected to MLK, to Black Struggle and Power. Um, and then our featured keynote speaker is Rasan Hall, the president and CEO of the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts. So it'll be really a great time. He'll give his keynote and then we'll have our benediction and wrap up the evening. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, a couple of, just, just honing, hon honing in on a couple of things that you mentioned there. Um, the the orchestras that will play, as you said, there will be middle schoolers and high schoolers mm -hmm. as well um, featured there. I think it's always good for them to have something that they're aiming for, performance, et cetera, right? It, it just kind of provides extra motivation and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think particularly the programs here um, which feature music that they might not otherwise be learning. Mm -hmm. And that is an indictment in and of itself, right, in, in a sense. But 
it's tough. You have to choose your your programs uh, as music teachers and mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and 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 folks who are running these orchestras. You have to choose your programs accordingly. But this does give them exposure to music to a. A, to education around an area because mm -hmm. the music is not just the music. You have to yeah. learn other stuff, right? So I, I love that symbiosis. Uh, I know over the years there have been lots and lots of different musical performances of, uh, as part of this mm -hmm. uh, of, of this ceremony and uh, this kind of place that you've gotten to for the moment of uh, working with student orchestras does feel like a, a really nice, uh, y you know, something that works for everybody. Yeah, they're excited. <laughs> um, they did it last year and really enjoyed it. And packed it was, house. It was packed, they can count, yes. They can count on a packed house. That's yeah. always fun, right? Um, yep, and it was, they were excited to be involved again this year. So mm -hmm. really grateful and it's a great opportunity to really again, involve the community and our community members that are here. So. And I was mentioning to you before uh, we started taping that that uh, I my recollection is you know I've been lucky enough to do lots and lots of interviews over the <laughs> years, but I I recall uh, interviewing Rasan Hall and uh, being definitely impressed. He's a charismatic, powerful yeah. speaker. Yeah. Uh, so I think, as usual, because you guys don't really have duds who <laughs> show up there. Uh, not, you know, I agree. Definitely not on this occasion. Featured yeah. speaker is always going to be somebody who mm -hmm. is definitely worth listening to and has something to say. But this guy is the real deal, too. <laughs> he is. It should be really, it should be a captivating speech. Um, it'll probably be about 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm just... I'm looking forward to what he's going to preach to us. Mm -hmm, <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, it'll be hopefully inspiring for folks to take something away from it and what they're taking away maybe put into action for themselves. Great. I, ho I hope so as well. <laughs> um, so anything else? I, I want to, you know, also give us a little bit of time to talk about other things of, of interest from yeah. the DEI world. Uh, uh, but anything else that we should make sure that people know or that we should repeat in any way because it's important information? Um, Monday, <laughs> 6 o'clock, doors open. Um, program starts at 6.30. Tune in if you can't be there in That's person. Right. Tune totally in if fine. You can't be there in person. If you can't exactly. tune ACMI in, we'll it'll be, be recorded. You can watch it again and again and again. Um, if you're interested in joining the committee, reach out. The committee has a website now, um, arlingtonmlk.org. So very simple. Okay, good. Um, arlingtonmlk.org. Well. Yep, okay. And people can find page. that on the town's website. Yep. Right? But um, no, just we're excited to be able to put it on and have our community receive it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a, it's a, again, I, I look forward to it as well. <laughs> um, what else would you like to uh, take yeah. this opportunity to talk about? I've got some notes. <laughs> um, so it, also this month is the Lunar New Year celebration that will be hosted for the town, town-wide event again. Um, so last year was the first time that the town did a full event. Typically, usually the Council on Aging has their program, mm -hmm. but we um, collaborated with them. And this year we'll be doing that again on Thursday, January 25th. It'll be in the auditorium um, from four to six, and it'll be a step up from last year. <laughs> More activities, um, lots of performances. So there's a couple of different components. The first hour will be really centered around kind of activities, folks learning some stuff, mm. um, visiting different tables, and then the second half will be more performance based. So I'm really excited. We're working with a lot of local groups, students as well, and a number of volunteers and community members who after last year were really excited that one, it happened, and two, how they could get involved for the next one. So um, that's coming up. It's a very quick turnaround. Yeah, <laughs> Ten I have days to say after. it's going to be super fast. <laughs> so the office is busy. Um, but, but let me just say before, yeah. you know, without wanting to interrupt you, Jill, um, that you know, I was there last year mm -hmm. for the Lunar New Year thing. And, um, you know, if you're saying that this one's a step up from that, then people should be pretty darn excited <laughs> because 
Um, that was extremely well attended. Uh, it was, there was a variety of performances that I remember quite well. Um, we really learned about how, how um, varied mm -hmm. uh, the, those who celebrate the yep. Lunar New Year, the cultures in which that is celebrated, do it in a lot of different, different ways. ways. And we got an education at the same time as we were being highly entertained. Yeah. And so I thought it was a remarkably successful event, especially for the first one mm -hmm. of them. Not without its, you know, its, <laughs> its hiccups, <laughs> its hiccups no, no doubt. And, yeah. you know, I'm sure that um, lessons have been learned and will be applied and, and all that stuff. But this, uh, it, it, it's almost a no-brainer given how things went last year mm -hmm. that this would be going, you know, happening again. And I imagine that it won't be long before this becomes just as much of a staple as many other things on I the calendar. I think so. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't be think there. we can go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, you know, again, I want to just give some kudos to you, to Teresa Marzilli, who works mm -hmm. with you around these kinds of things. I remember that this was Teresa's first big yes. thing that she did last year. And, you know, she was a little uh, <laughs> reflecting that, uh, you know, there, but pull, really pulled it off. Yeah. And, and again, hopefully uh, each year there will be more people involved mm -hmm. in both organizing it and making it happen. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure that it will continue to be just kind of quite rich as yeah. an experience. So. Yeah, it should be great just, again, based off of last year and the people who reached out with ideas and feedback and wanting to volunteer. We say yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, so Teresa again is organizing the program. This is their baby. So mm -hmm. we are I said, you tell me what to do. <laughs> so it'll be a great time. I'm excited. I, unfortunately, I missed it last year. I got sick. So mm. this year I told myself, I will no be sickness. there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since we can control these things, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I did interrupt you, though. You probably, I think you had other things that you also, anything else that you Just, want to mention? I'd say the other thing for me right now in the division and the commissions I oversee, um, all of them have vacancies. So if anyone is interested in... And just remind yeah. folks who those... We've got Human Rights Commission, the LGBTQIA plus Rainbow Commission, and Disability Commission. So all three of them have openings. Um, if folks are interested, send your letters of interest to... You can even send it to the DEI at town.arlington.ma.us email. Um, and we'll get it to the right place because we have different folks that do appointments. So I've got to check which vacancies are open. Right. Um, but with that, we're always looking to have, again, folks, whether you want to join as a commissioner or not, we love for folks to come to meetings because it's just another opportunity to engage, to hear from people, get different perspectives, and really see what the community wants. Um, and with that, I will say next week, all of the commissions have all of their monthly meetings. So it's a busy week. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm glad we got you now. <laughs> it probably would be an awful uh, challenge to, to, to uh, schedule you later in this month yeah. or for the next while. Um, you know, we began this conversation recognizing the importance of volunteers for the MLK committee and in general, um, and we're finishing in the same mm -hmm. place really. And I think that that's uh, totally appropriate because yeah. uh, with this work, again, this is something that we are committed to collectively, yes. uh, or so we say. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and walk the walk, shall we? So yeah. um, I do hope that you will get some response um, around all of that stuff. Thank you. Um, okay, I think that's it. Yeah. You think that's it? <laughs> I think <Okay>. so. <laughs> For All now. Right. Good enough. <laughs> Until we get to welcome her back uh, again into the studio, possibly for a DEI update <laughs> itself um, sometime soon, uh, I will uh, bid a uh, brief and fond farewell to uh, Jillian Harvey, our Director of DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the town. Uh, we always appreciate Jill coming in. She just gave you a sense of how busy her schedule really is. And we know that that's the case. So it's no small thing uh, that she takes the time to come and share these things with us and with you. We appreciate that. We appreciate your time. My name is James Milan. This is Talk of the Town. Really glad that you joined us for this, and we'll see you next time.